folks, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Melody. And welcome to Double Trouble. Today we're taking a look at the two new Exit games. This is Exit the Sunken Treasure and Exit Dead Man on the Orient Express. Now, when we play these, this is like we actually got these and we got the new unlocks at the same time. Mm -hmm. And we played these first. Because I love Exit and I still, still, this is of all the escape room games, this is probably my favorite. What yes. about you? I really like the escape ones. I like the whole tearing apart stuff and Yeah. <laughs> and as with all of these, these are both completely Different. destroyed. Oh. Well, from when we're done. Yeah. So <laughs> We're not gonna we're, we're not gonna spoil things here, but we want to talk a little bit about these because these are very different, not from just each other, but from the series as a whole. Mm. The Sunken Treasure. Melody got this one first because she thought this one's ranked two stars. This one's ranked four. So I Melody said, her. "I want to play the four. So she grabbed the two. I misheard. <laughs> I misheard which one was the hard one, which one was the easy one. So we're gonna talk first about Sunken Treasure here. Now, Sunken Treasure is ranked two stars, and I think at this point, it could be if someone was saying, "I'm gonna play Exit for the first time." I would say, hey, start with Sunken Treasure. Yeah. Um, because it is by far the easiest one. Mm -hmm. We crushed it. I mean, we, <laughs> we didn't use a single clue. Did we use, uh, we, no, we used no. no clues. We got 10 stars. I don't think we've ever got 10 <laughs> stars before. Now that's not to say it was like. Too easy. No. No, I mean like. Boring easy, I guess is the way to say it. No, it wasn't. But I didn't think it was boring. It just was that we were like, oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> we felt very smart when we were done with yeah. it. <laughs> um, and there was some cool things in it. There was some neat puzzles we hadn't seen before. The only thing about this one is it's very, very linear. Mm. So, and this is not, not a spoiler. It's just how this game works. In these games, you get a, a book in, in most of the exit games, and you get a clue cards. In this one, you open the book, and you have the front two pages only. You can't turn the page until it says that you can. So you work on one, one puzzle. puzzle at a time. What did you think of that? It was okay. Like I do, I did like how you can focus on one puzzle and be like, instead of like, oh, I have no idea if we need this card or not, which is almost every other game. Um, but also, it didn't work with how many players that we had because for the most part, we're just sitting there like, can we help? Nope, you got this puzzle? Okay, let's we'll sit here and wait. Yeah, okay, so that Melody brings up a good point. Okay, so the Sunken Treasure says on it that it's one to four players. It feels like it's one to three, maybe even one to two. Because there's only one puzzle to work on at, a, at any given time. So just keep that in mind. That's definitely how that one works. So I enjoyed it though. I yes. like it, and I definitely would recommend it highly, for, especially for people coming in. And it also gives us a good, woo hoo hoo, we're so smart. <laughs> we whooped up on this. Now, Dead Man on the Orient Express, this one's ranked with four stars. Yeah. Did you feel smart after this one? No, my head hurt. No, I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, first of all, we played this one at night. We had done. Well, it wasn't that late. Yeah, it was like, what, nine, right? No, at nine like o'clock? No, it was nine. We had come home after VBS. Oh. Right? We did this. And yes, when it was done, <laughs> we went to bed because uh, we were exhausted. This one is four stars. Remember I said we didn't use any clues on the last one? We, we used... Almost every clue. No, we didn't use almost every clue. We used every clue. Well, like we used a lot clue of clues. Okay. <laughs> so this one's hard. And we still got six stars, though. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Well, let me tell you why, okay? So a couple things. First of all, this is the first time since we played Exits where I made a mistake a and we mistake. went and looked at a wrong thing and we got stuck and I had to do a lot of backtracking and try to figure out what we got. That, that took a, like 20 minutes or so. And that was all my fault because I had read something wrong. And these games are a little fragile that way if you do that. But fortunately, mm -hmm. I was able to figure it out backwards and get back on track. <laughs> this game is also has... A little bit more stuff than the rest. Mm -hmm. So this game, again, is not spoilers. Is you're, you're on a, the Orient Express trying to solve a murder. You always are trying to solve a murder. <laughs> and there's a booklet of things. There's also cars, but there's also little cars. Um, there, yeah. There's some extra little booklets that you can examine someone's car. Only when it tells you you can. You can open up someone's car, look inside there, and get clues. What would you think of that extra stuff? I thought it was really cool because it really did feel like we we're on a train. Like, okay, uh, now we have access into like this person's room so we can see if they're possibly the murderer. And it was like really fun. <laughs> and another thing is, and I really love this part, is that this actually has a murder mystery in it. You do not have to solve the murder mystery to win this game. It's an exit game. You got to do this, clues, this, yeah. clues, this, clues. 
But you can solve the murder mystery, which... We did. Yeah, yeah. Which is why we got six stars <laughs> instead of... <clears throat> uh, it gives you a few more extra points, you know, if you, if you solve the murder mystery. But that was fun, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't need to do that, but it talks about the different people riding the train, their alibis, and then you just find clues and say, wait a minute, that alibi can't be true type stuff. Yeah, like instead of the whole running away from the murderer or you know who the murderer is and you're trying to stop them, this is seriously... All the different suspects, all their different alibis, um, they're not all different, like they're mostly kind of the same. Like I think there's like three or four different types of alibi stories, but it was still a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't really a difficult to figure out who the murderer is. I didn't think that it was a no. difficult thing. The puzzles, on the other hand, hmm. <laughs> here's the deal though. Every single puzzle, once we figured out how to do it, we, were, we said, oh. this is really cool. Yeah. There was some really neat puzzles in here, and the design space of this, where they're using every piece in the game in different ways, they use a few things in here differently than I've seen before, although I think they're kind of running out. <laughs> One of the puzzles that's in the game, we figured that we had found it, like, right away. Yeah. Holly did something, something, something. She says, ooh, this is a clue. And I was like, oh. And she did something else and said, look, this, this works. And I was like, ooh. But we didn't get to that puzzle till like later on in the game. Then we got to that puzzle, we were like, we already know how to do this one, and we still didn't have it right. <laughs> we still had to mess around with it. Mm -hmm. That, I think this is my favorite of yeah, all of them so really far. Good. I think I like the, the murder mystery part. Mm -hmm. It was the most thematic, easily. It was hard, <laughs> but I'm okay pushing my, my levels like that, right? I, this is not what I would recommend first, but I, I thought that the theme and everything worked really well. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, what would you rate both of these? Um, the easy one, um, not too high, because I don't really like super easy stuff, because I'm just like, oh, okay, oh, whatever. Um, so maybe like, I also rate it high, because it was a good game, so maybe like a six or seven. Like a six? Fine. Eight for me, because it's a great <laughs> entry into the genre. Yeah. This one? Much higher, like an eight or nine. I'll give it a ten. Because <laughs> so far, like I said, it's my favorite in the series. It's just an excellent, excellent game. <laughs> so those are the two new exit games that are out. We highly recommend both of them. One for beginners, one for advanced players. But I think they're both a lot of fun. Until next time, I'm Tom Basso. I'm Melody. And you've been watching Double Trouble. Boom!